Sweden's Prime Minister has told citizens they must do more to curb the growing threat of coronavirus. In a rare national address, Stefan Lofen warned too many people have been careless about following the recommendations. Sweden is the only European country to have resisted imposing a national lockdown. Well, let's get the latest from our reporter, Per Berforsnyberg, who's in Stockholm for us. Per, it is quite rare for a prime minister to address the public in a, in a way like this. Uh, I think it's only the fourth time it's happened in, in history. Just talk us through what the prime minister had to say. It was quite a sombre tone, wasn't it? Absolutely, Rosie. This is the second time that the Prime Minister Stefan Levin has addressed the nation. Uh, two times before we had uh, a Prime Minister addressing one in the early 90s and so once in the early 2000s when our Foreign Minister was killed. So basically this is a very difficult time for Sweden. He says Sweden is under a lot of pressure and people just need to do much more. He's saying that the danger is increasing. A lot more people are going to be dying. We've seen 6,406 people die already. Over 200,000 people have tested positive. There is some good news. The R number is going down from about 1.55 in the beginning of November to around 1.15 now sort of in the middle of November. But still, though, the message from the government is you need to do much more. Otherwise, more people might die. Take a listen. What we as a nation do wrong now will bring us suffering later on. What we do right now will bring us joy later on. How we act now will affect our Christmas celebrations. Who will still be with us at Christmas? It might sound harsh, it might sound brutal, but the reality is just as harsh and brutal. So a very difficult message there from the Swedish Prime Minister telling people to do more. But the, there was also some criticism following this speech that there was no mention of a vaccine whatsoever. There was also no mention of what the government would do in case they don't, if they're not able to stop the spread of the virus. So people are just wondering what's next, because on Tuesday, there's a new limit uh, of maximum eight people who can actually gather at one place. But there was no message whatsoever in terms of face masks. Just a few days ago, we heard from the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences urging people use a face mask if you're indoors or in, in public transport. But the government's still, though, saying, no, we're not going to recommend face masks. But still, though, you need to do much more. Pretty much isolate at home if you can. Avoid any kind of human contact with people that you're not living with. Rosie. Per, thank you very much. Our reporter there in Stockholm.